How in the world am I still discovering new stuff in this game? Sheesh, Fallout 76 is massive. What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be showing something that I recently discovered around Halloween time and just now deciding to make a video over this. I have spent 1500 hours into this game and just recently discovered this secret. I'm also gonna be showing another little secret as well that I think players might not know about too. By the way, happy holidays everyone. Hope you all enjoy it with whomever you share the holidays with. As you can see, I'm wearing an all lit up Christmas sweater. I'm a big fan of these ugly sweaters. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and um, get into these secrets. Well, first off, I guess I should show proof that I've spent 1,500 hours in Fallout 76. Some of you are probably like, how in the world did you spend that much time in this dumpster fire of a game, Rifle? Seriously, what is your problem playing this garbage? Well, hang on, hang on. We all have our different opinions, okay? I enjoy Fallout 76, as you will clearly tell, after how many hours I've spent into this, and some people just don't like it. And that's their opinion, and I have mine. Oddly enough, I enjoy it except for maybe some of the serious bugs that happen in the game. But at least those get resolved over time. Guess I can be optimistic a little bit over that. So yeah, anyways, enough about that mumbo jumbo. Let's go ahead and get into this now. Okay, so first off, I guess I should show you the amount of time that I've spent into this game. As you can see here, I have explored around Appalachia for 1,499 hours. You actually get 20 atoms, yes, only. 20 atoms for playing the game for 7600 hours that is an insane amount of time now don't get me wrong i haven't straight played for 1500 hours i have left my xbox on for people to go to my vendor so i can make some transactions like i was away and just moved my controller every now and then but still for the most part i have spent a long time in this game it's not exactly 1500 hours but i'm rounding it up one more hour. It's honestly pretty embarrassing that I've spent this much time in the game, but hey, at least I'm having fun and I'm still discovering new stuff. But anyways, this first secret that I wanted to show you in this game that I just recently learned about is located over at the White Springs Resort. By the way, I'm on an alternate character. I'm not on my main. That's the reason why I'm only level 64. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind also. I didn't get to only level 64 in 1500 hours. That would be uh, pretty sad. Anyways, this little secret is right underneath this gazebo here. In case you guys didn't know, any of the diseases that you may have in the game... Oh, what the fudge. Oh my gosh. Freaking bee swarm. Any of the diseases that you may have in the game, you don't technically need a disease cure. You can just simply go up to this water fountain here. As you can see, it says sulfur water fountain and if you drink out of it not collect because that'll only give you dirty water but if you drink out of it it literally cures your diseases that you have not your mutations but your diseases as you can see i now recovered from the century as you can see i'm also suffering food loss from parasites let me go ahead and drink out of this again bam i have now recovered from par oh my gosh speaking of parasites Sheesh! So much interruption. Okay. But yeah, as you saw, I recovered from parasites, too. This cures any of your diseases that you have, so you don't have to technically waste disease cures. This is actually really, really beneficial. And I haven't known about this all that long. Maybe like a month or two, to be completely honest with y'all. So, yeah, this is one little secret that I wanted to show y'all. Actually, it's a pretty major secret. It can help you save a lot. You just simply have to come to the White Springs Resort, which most players do come here. Anyways, before I go ahead and get into this other one that I think some players might not know about, feel free to leave any secrets that you know about in this game down below in the comments. I may make a couple compilations over some secrets that most players don't know about in the game just to bring more awareness to the community over these secrets so more players can take advantage of them or check them out whatever 
So yeah, now let's go ahead and head out to this other secret that I wanted to show you all, which is uh, located over in the Meyer area. So from Vault 76, you head over here in the Meyer area, as you can see, the location is called Hunter's Shack. Inside this little shack, you can actually trigger this secret daily that will make it so you can find certain cryptids that you may need for a certain challenge or something. This will make it so you could be able to find a Mothman or a Flatwoods monster with ease. Because as we know, those can be kind of difficult to discover at times. This is a way that you can find them super easy. So yeah, if you go into this terminal here and select upload data, as you can see, a daily event will start called Queen of the Hunt. And it will tell us to investigate different sites around Appalachia. The description for this daily reads, hunt down the cryptid before it disappears. Huh, it's not popped up. Let me go ahead and select it. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, it tells us to investigate site Delta, Beta, and Epsilon. So let's go ahead and go do that. Now keep in mind, all of these sites that we go to discover won't technically contain a cryptid, but one of them for sure will. So if you're wanting to maybe get like a good photo of a Flatwoods monster or a Mothman, or maybe that's one of the challenges that you have for your daily or weekly one of the times, knowing this can definitely save you a lot of time. Because just randomly encountering a Mothman or a Flatwoods monster can be pretty time consuming. So as you can see here, I did go to the one that contained the cryptid. I got a Grafton monster. You can take out this Grafton monster as well but keep in mind if you are wanting to locate a flatwoods monster or a mothman you don't want to go back to the hunter's shack and complete this daily you just simply now want to quit out of the game and just simply go back into a new server until a flatwoods or a mothman spawns for the cryptid that time it was a grafton monster wasn't what i was really in search of so yeah all you have to do is just simply hop servers and restart the quest Okay, so this time it tells me to check out different sites. Epsilon isn't there. We now got Alpha, Delta, and Beta. Hopefully one of these contain the Mothman or the Flatwoods monster. Just so I can have some first-hand footage for y'all to show that this does work. Oh! <laughs> There's a Mega Sloth here. This technically doesn't count as a Cryptid, though. This is just a creature that you could take out. Doesn't count as a Cryptid. Now I'll go to, I guess, Alpha? Oh, they're both up here, so... Another Mega Sloth! Okay, so this is the last site to check out. This one has to contain a Cryptid. Bam! As you can see, a Mothman spawned. So yeah, once again, this is something that you can do to get maybe a good photo of one of the cryptids because after all they are pretty rare or if you have like a challenge for instance this is also an easy way to locate them yeah let me go ahead and take out this small man what the what the heck what the that was weird Aha! And when you want to complete this daily, you're just going to have to extract the tissue sample. As you can see, it says press Y to extract sample. So I just went ahead and did that. Now I can't farm these cryptids. Like, I won't be able to you know, log out of the server and log back in to find some new ones. I'm going to have to uh, actually now complete it. So keep that in mind. And this is a daily. So be careful not to extract a sample if you are trying to locate a certain cryptid. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick now what you do next once you extract a sample. Just insert the sample in the tissue analyzer. And then wait for results. And then bada bing, bada boom. The daily is finished. Analysis complete. Knowledge base 
updated. Oh, there's also ticks around this area too. If you want to make you some extra stem packs. Okay, so there you have it, everyone. I was kind of hesitant on making this video because it's pretty embarrassing how much time I have spent into this video game. But I enjoy it a lot, and I just want to share these secrets with y'all because I feel like since I didn't really know about them for quite some time, maybe some of you also didn't know about these. I mean, I knew about the Queen of the Hunt for a little while, but I didn't know about the fountain underneath the gazebo around White Springs until maybe like a month or two ago. So that's pretty insane to think about. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. And if you know any secrets that you may want me to share with the community, feel free to share it down below in the comments. I'd be greatly appreciated. I may make some compilations in the future. Until next time, though, peace.